Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. This time I'm talking about Bundesliga at match day 21, uh, which games are gonna be played uh, this weekend. Uh, here are the games, here are the standings as always, uh, although I'm pretty sure most of you know uh, already that Bayern Munich obviously leads the league, they have led the league so many years. But Union Berlin is only one point behind them uh, and they the title race has been close all season and Dortmund isn't that far behind either. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to match day 21 games. Uh, Friday, uh, only one Friday game is going to be played on half past eight. Augsburg faces Hoffenheim. Augsburg have scored so far this season 25 goals. Whereas for Hoffenheim, they have scored 29 goals. Uh, they're right around the middle, maybe a little less uh, about the scoring for these two teams. And as you can see, they're 13th and 14th, so that really matches up that they aren't uh, really the top scorers in the league. So, yeah. Uh, and these are all local times as uh, always. So, German, what time is in Germany? Uh, when the matches are going to be played. Uh, then there are five games on Saturday, uh, starting uh, with four games uh, on half past three. Stuttgart faces, faces Köln. Uh, Stuttgart scored so far 23 goals this season, and whereas Köln has scored 32 goals. And yeah, uh, then this next match, uh, Bochum faces Freiburg. Uh, Freiburg, obviously, they are now fourth. They've been up and down recently uh, in the standings, but they're now fourth, so pretty good for them. They have scored 32 goals, so exactly the same amount as Köln, but as you can see, Köln is only 11th, so uh, they Freiburg have been solid defensively as well, although there are a couple losses like 5-1 uh, loss to uh, Dortmund recently, uh, which wasn't that great, but anyway, and Bochum have scored 24 goals all season long, so yeah, not get great for them, and that shows uh, in the standings for them. Uh, then Borussia Mönchengladbach, who are 10th, uh, face uh, Bayern Munich uh, uh, league leaders. Uh, Bayern obviously coming off that 1-0 uh, win away from home against PSG. Uh, that was a well-fought win for them, and... Uh, it remains to be seen this match comes, go, comes quite quickly uh, after the Champions League match. They have about three days rest, uh, but we'll see if it has any effect uh, in this match uh, or effect in this match that they played recently. Mönchengladbach have had uh, more rest, so maybe even though Mönchengladbach, Borussia Mönchengladbach have had tough season, maybe they could surprise Bayern because of their uh, emotional win against PSG. Uh, and yeah, Bayern, obviously, uh, they have had 59 goals this season, so uh, no surprise there that they are uh, leading the league in goals. Whereas for Mönchengladbach, well, they scored 35 goals, so that's okay, but yeah, their defensive side hasn't been great because with 35 goals, They've scored more than Freiburg, three more than Freiburg, but Freiburg is fourth, and as you can see, Mönchengladbach is tenth, so yeah, big difference there, even though they scored three more goals than Freiburg. Uh, then, uh, the last game on half past three, uh, Wolfsburg faces RB Leipzig. Uh, RB Leipzig have scored 40 goals this season, and whereas Wolfsburg have scored 38 goals. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting match, uh, Wolfsburg being 7th and Leipzig being 5th, so I would say that's probably one of the more entertaining matches out of this match, day 21, although Mönchengladbach and Bayern could be entertaining as well. So yeah, these two are probably uh, going to be the most entertaining games, uh, but there are other good matches as well. But uh, a bit shame that these two matches are going to be played on the same time so you're probably only gonna get to watch one of them but yeah and the last game on saturday uh the later game uh half past six 
uh, Eintracht Frankfurt uh, going to play against Werder Bremen. Uh, Frankfurt 40 goals this season. Uh, Werder Bremen have scored 31. Uh, I would expect Frankfurt to beat Werder Bremen, but uh, that might be a tough match. Uh, maybe it could be a draw, I don't know, but uh, maybe it could be one nothing win to Frankfurt. But yeah, well, Frankfurt have scored 40 goals this season and Werder Bremen 31, so they're averaging uh, each a more, than, more, goal, more than goal a game, so uh, there could be goals in this match. Uh, also, then uh, there are three Saturday, uh, Sunday games uh, starting from Union Berlin and Schalke uh, half past three. Uh, Union Berlin uh, only scored 35 goals, so as many as Mönchengladbach, but Mönchengladbach are 10th and uh, Union Berlin, well, uh, they are second and only one point behind Bayern, so that's interesting that only... Uh, well, they are really not scoring that many goals compared to others, uh, like Leipzig or yeah, but or Dortmund or Bayern. Uh, but they are still second. Whereas Schalke, it has been overall disaster all season. Uh, they are uh, last, and well, they've only scored fourteen goals, so uh, well below. Uh, well, they haven't scored a goal in most of the games, so. Yeah, if you're averaging, that's below a goal a game. So, yeah, not great for Schalke. And it has been a bad season, but yeah, maybe they could do something uh, before the end of the season, but it's not looking good for them right now. And I would expect Union Berlin to win that one. Uh, then, half past five, Borussia Dortmund face Erdo Berlin. Uh, Dortmund 40 goals this season, so tied with Leipzig and uh, Frankfurt uh, with the most goals uh, behind Bayern Munich, who have uh, like 19 goals more. But yeah, uh, Dortmund 40 goals and Erdo Berlin have scored 24 goals, so quite a difference there and difference in standings. Dortmund third and Erdo Berlin are. Uh, 16th, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would expect this to be quite lopsided, but yeah, it remains to be seen how uh, European matches affect uh, these teams like Dortmund. A uh, big win against Chelsea, well, not big uh, scoring wise, but a uh, big result for them. And uh, I forgot to mention, but like Union Berlin drawing Ajax, and yeah. Uh, I'm not sure Frankfurt probably uh, no not Frankfurt did Frankfurt play in the European competition I'm not sure uh, but the next uh, game that's gonna be played and last game uh, half past seven Leverkusen played against Monaco they lost three to two uh, that was a home game so uh, it remains to be seen if they could bounce back against Mainz Leverkusen not having great season at least not the greatest of seasons Whereas mine, uh, 30 goals, Leverkusen 33, so there's not quite a big difference there. Mine are below uh, Leverkusen in the standings, but yeah, uh, Leverkusen really needs to win this one if they want to have any chance to getting into European competitions next season. Uh, well, if they could win Europa League, maybe they could <laughs> get to European competitions, but at this point, uh, with them losing against Monaco, at home, it's not looking very likely, so they would have to win mines uh, to get something uh, going. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this match day 21 games that are going to be played uh, throughout this weekend. And, yeah, what are your thoughts? Who will win the games? And uh, will there be any surprises? Uh, hit the like and subscribe if you would so like. And have a nice day.